Hello everyone, today, I'd like to show you how to use mask layers in Adobe Animate. Mask layers are usually used for spotlight effects and transitions to create a hole through which underlying layers are visible. A mask item can be a filled shape, a type object, an instance of a graphic symbol, or a movie clip. You can use mask layers to reveal portions of a picture or graphic in the layer below. In this example, I'll use this picture to appear inside the mask. Next, we need to create a new layer above this layer. Now, I'll draw a rectangle and use it as the mask layer. A mask layer always masks the layer immediately below it. Now, select the mask layer, right-click, and then choose Mask. A mask layer icon indicates the mask layer. The layer immediately below it is linked to the mask layer, and its contents show through the filled area on the mask. For another example, I'll use text as the mask layer. I'll make the text bigger and place it in the proper area. Now, I convert it to a drawing object. Right-click and select, Break Apart. Do it once again. It'll help us if we want to use Shape Tween to this mask layer. After that, select the layer, right-click, and choose Mask. As you can see, contents inside the layer below it only appear in the text area. Now, you can add a tween to create a dynamic animation to your mask layer or mask item. Before you animate your mask layer, don't forget to unlock it first. To unlock the mask layer, click on the lock column. When the animation operation is complete, click on the lock column for the mask layer to re-lock the layer. Just do the same as before if you want to animate your mask layer. If the mask object is a filled shape, Apply shape tweening to the object. If the mask object is a type object or graphic symbol instance, apply motion tweening to the object. However, I'll only use classic tween for this example. Important to note, Animate ignores bitmaps, gradients, transparency, colors, and line styles in a mask layer. Any filled area is completely transparent in the mask, any non-filled area is opaque. Okay, that's the tutorial about how to use mask layers in Adobe Animate. Wait for another video from this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.